Hey, Mary, uh, based on our discussion back and forth, I figured it'd be just easiest if I uh, recorded a quick video for you here and explained this, uh, this case that uh, finishes up uh, week seven. So I I filled everything out here, so I'm not typing while I'm explaining, but uh, hopefully this is helpful. So uh, from the reading, you should be able to go through and find uh, all the predecessors for the activities that are included in this project and also the days required for each. So uh, if you start here with this first activity, obviously this starts at time zero or time one. It really it doesn't matter here in this case. Uh, and it takes five days, so it finishes after day five. Uh, we can look at these next to uh, prototyping and market pro market pro sorry marketing program based on the fact that A is a predecessor. So since A finishes on day five, these can start on day five. This has a ten day duration, so it finishes at day fifteen. This has an eight day duration, it finishes at day thirteen. And then instructions and design packaging, since they both have a predecessor of B, you can go up and look at activity B. Uh, A, B finishes on day 15, so both of these activities can start on day 15, seven day duration, 22, nine day duration, day 24. Uh, get approval, activity C, so A, B, C finishes on day 13, and then a three day duration finishes on day 16. <clears throat> so on the forward pass, this is where we need to be a little bit more careful here since there's two predecessors for this training activity, both D and E. Uh, we need to look at the activity that finishes the latest because both of these activities must be done before training can start. So if you look at D and E, so A, B, C, D and E, so instructions and design packaging. So the latest start or the latest finish time here is day 24 so training can start on day 24 it's a two-day activity and finishes on day 26. same for info guide uh you've got two predecessors d and f so a b c d and uh d and f so instructions and get approval so this is day 22 this is day 16 so info guide has to start on day 22 has an eight day duration finishes on day 30. Uh, this is activity F as a predecessor of activity F. So let's see, A, B, C, D, E, F, get approval, finishes on day 16. So this will start on day 16, has a 24, or finishes on day 24 because it has an eight day uh, duration. And then uh, same idea here for uh, the racks, A, B, C, D, E, and F. So let's see, design packaging, get approval. The latest finish here is day 24. So racks can start on day 24 and we'll finish on day 26, I'm sorry, 36 because of the 12 day duration. And then you've got the, the finish here um, and it looks like four predecessors. So since it's a, since this is the, la the latest finish here is day 36. So the duration here is actually gonna be 36 days. Uh, so where this gets a little more challenging, obviously now, let me, let me slide this over. That way we don't have to, I don't have to keep talking about, it. sorry about that. I should have done that from the beginning. <clears throat> so where this gets a little more challenging on the backward pass is you, you're going to look at an activity and, and look forward here instead of looking, uh, at the activities that have pre uh, come before it. So, uh, so since we know the duration is 36 days, the latest finish time for the project will be 36 days. Uh, since activity K has a, it's basically just the finish, then it starts and finishes on day 36. That's basically just an accounting. So then if I go look at J, J is a predecessor for the finish. So J will start, I'm sorry, J will finish on the start day of the finish so it can it's going to finish on day 36 if you now think backwards it has to start on day 24 because of the 12 day duration uh, same thing for activity i since activity i is required for the finish it will finish on day 36 and since it has an eight day duration it can start on day 28. Uh, same for h same for g now, and obviously the, the start days are based on the duration. So 36 minus 8 is 28 here. 36 minus 2 is 34 here. 
Now, this is this is where we start getting a little more challenging here. So if I look at uh, I look at activity F, note that activity F is a predecessor for activity H, for activity I, and activity J. So the finish of activity F must be in time for the earliest of those three activities to start. So if I go look again at the activities that F is a predecessor for, it's a predecessor for H, I, and J. So if I look at the start times for H, I, and J, notice that the earliest one is day 24. So activity F must finish on day 24, and then if I subtract the three-day duration, it must start on day 21. Uh, let's see, similar for activity E. Activity E is a predecessor for G and J. So if I look at G, that uh, starts on day 34, and J starts on day 24. So activity F must finish on day 24 and start on day 21 because of the three-day duration. Uh, uh, let's see, acti let's see, did we just do E? Maybe we just did E. Yeah, so I'm sorry, I should have been here. So same, same concept. So E, E is a predecessor for G and J, and we said the earliest was 24, so we're back here, uh, day 24. Let me just leave a cursor there, that way I know where I'm going. Now, let's look at D. D is a predecessor for G and H, and if I look at G and H, the earliest of the start times is day 28. So activity D must finish on day 28 because of the seven day duration will start on day 21. Uh, let's see, activity C. Activity C is a, only a predecessor for F. F starts on day 21. So C can finish on day 21 because of the eight day duration. It can start on day 13. Uh, B, let's see, B, I'm sorry, activity B is a predecessor for uh, D and E. The earliest of the two starts is day or of the two starts is day 15, so B can uh, finish on day 15 because of the 10-day duration. It'll start on day five, and then uh, for activity A, A uh, is a predecessor for B and C. The earliest of the start times is day is five days, so A must finish on day five and it starts on time zero because of the five-day duration. And then to find the critical path, what you're going to do is go over here. Let me just do this. Uh, I'll show you on the fly here. I'm going to subtract the difference between the finish times, so the finish times of all the activities. And if we pull this all the way, whoops, sorry, equals, that's what I get for trying to do something early on Sunday morning here. So let's pull this all the way down here. And so what you see here is, uh, let's see, activity A has zero slack, B has zero slack, E has zero slack, J has zero slack, and K has zero slack. So everything else, uh, all those other activities, uh, have some basically some float time, meaning they they can move and not impact uh, the 36-day duration. However, A, B, activities A, B, E, J, and K are the activities that cannot move, and if they do move, you're going to extend the duration of the project. So I hope this is helpful, and uh, I wish you all the best, and I hope all is well up in Fayetteville. Take care, and Merry Christmas.